It's been about a month since I created the last tutorial, so a lot has changed in Mojo Portal since then. So it's time now to do SBN update to get the latest code. So I right click, choose SBN update, and it will pull down the files. I'm also going to show you, uh, because Visual Studio 2010 came out, I'll be continuing this uh, second half of this series of tutorials with Visual Studio 2010. So as soon as I get the latest code down, I'm going to have to uh, invert my project. It only takes a minute. Okay, now all of our code has come down, so I'll dismiss the dialog. I'll go back to Visual Studio, and I'll open our solution. And this is going to be tutorials. And then it's our Module Portal Acme solution. You can see it's got the 9. That means it was built for Visual Studio 2008. When I open that, it launches the conversion wizard. I don't really need a backup. Everything should go just fine. And I don't want it to change the target framework to .NET 4.0 at this time, so I just click No and do the same for all projects. And it is now complete. I'll dismiss that dialog. And now we're working in Visual Studio 2010. You can see our projects. It's much prettier now. Everything's all blue. The thing we want to do now is rebuild the solution. And it finished rebuilding the solution. And now the next thing we need to do is make it run the setup page because there surely are upgrade scripts since it's been a month. So we open this folder and we just say view in browser. And it completed the setup, and we're upgraded now to Mojo Portal 2.3.4.2. And we'll go ahead and sign in. And now that's uh, one more thing I want to cover in this tutorial, and then I will switch to a new clip. But uh, you'll notice that if we edit a page, or any page we're on, if we go to the Edit This Page, which allows us to put features on the page, you see that guestbook is the first item in the list and that's not really what we want because that's an you know html contents the most common feature we kind of want these to sort in a way uh, where the less used features will be closer to the bottom so we want to fix that sort and i'm going to show you how to do that right now in visual studio we branch down to where we can see our acme web ui project with our setup applications, guestbook, feature definition, and our guestbook module definition. That sort order is this here. So if I change that, let's just say I, I really want to make that be like probably the last thing or pretty far down the list. So I change that. <clears throat> now I need to go back to the setup page to make it reconfigure that and see it'll see that new setting. Now it doesn't run any scripts, but you see where it's configuring all these features. That's where it checks for any new settings. And now if we go back to edit this page, oh, it didn't work. You know why? It's because I did not rebuild, and therefore this file was not copied by its uh, post-build event. So really, I just have to quickly build the Acme Web project, and that's just simply so that the post-build runs and copies this file, and it succeeded. And I just go back to setup, and then we run it again. And when we go back this time, it should not be at the top. So we go to edit this page, and now we see HTML is the first item on the list. Ours is pretty close to the bottom. I guess there are some with even higher sort levels. So that's all I want to cover in this quick tutorial. I'm going to move on now to the next clip, and we'll get back to developing this guest book feature to teach you module development in Mojo Portal. So we'll see you in the next clip.